right, so today we're going to find the lowest common multiple of two numbers. So grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, make some notes, and we're going to go through this. So we're going to find the lowest common multiple, multiple meaning the times tables of these numbers. And we're going to find the lowest one that appears in both their times tables. That's essentially all that we're going to do. So I like to do this just using a list. It's not quite nice and simple. Okay, so I'm going to start with the number 12, and then we're going to have a look at the number 18. Okay, and I'm just going to do a little list going along here. So 12, the next number in the 12 times table is 24. Adding 12 to that gets us 36. Add another 12 gets us 48. And another 12 gets us to 60. Now I'm not going to do any more than that because I don't want to go on for too long. But then moving on to 18, the next number in the 18 times table is 36. And actually I've just spotted I don't need to go any further because I've just found there is the first number that appears in both their times tables. So I'll just make the statement that the lowest common multiple, which we can abbreviate to LCM, is 36. And that's that question done, that's all we're going to do. Okay, so moving on to the next one. Find the lowest common multiple of 24 and 36. So let's have a look. 24 and 36. So let's do a few for 24. 48. Add 4 is 52. Add the 20 is 72. Let's do one more. Add 4 is 76. Add 20 is 96. Now let's do some of the 36s. Add 36 to 36, we get 72. Oh, there we go. So straight away, we've got our lowest common multiple there again. Now, it doesn't always appear this quickly, but some of these first ones are going to do that. There we go. So 72 is our lowest common multiple. All right, one more before you have a go. Okay, so find the lowest common multiple of 60 and 24. Not quite as nice as the last one, but let's have a look. 60 and 24. Now I know that all the numbers in the 60 times table, if I keep adding 60, they're going to keep ending in a zero. So I might start with the 24 and see what the first one I get is that ends in a zero. So add 24 to that gets us to not 20, but 48. Add 4 is 52, add 20 is 72. Add 4 is 76, add 20 is 96. Add 4 is 100, add 20 is 120. There we go, and if we go to our next one on 60, we get 120 and there is our lowest common multiple. So 120, lowest common multiple. There we go, and there's our answer. Okay, I have some for you to have a go at. Okay, so pause the video there, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, so nine and 36. Nine and 36, let's have a look. Nine, 18, 27, 36. Okay, there we go, so that's a good one. Didn't even have to do any on that 36 there, because 36 is our lowest common multiple, so 36. On to the next one, 24 and 16, 24 and 16. Let's start with 16, 32, 48, and then add 6 is 54, add 10 is 64. Okay, on to 24, 24, 48, and there we go, straight away, 48. They don't always appear straight away, as we'll probably see on this next one. So 18 to 30, 18 and 30, 18 and 30. So 30, I know that I know that that's going to always end in a zero. So let's have a look at 18. 18, 36. Add 8 is 44, add 10 is 54. Add 8 is 62, add 10 is 72. Add 8 is 80, add 10 is 90. There we go. So if we did a couple of 30s, 30, 60, 90. And there is our lowest common multiple of 18 and 30, and the answer is 90. Okay, and on to the last one. 30 and 24. Let's see what we get for this one. So 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. Again, all ending in zeros. Let's go with 24. We've already done that to the left there, so we know the first one's 48. The next one, add 24, so 52, add 20 is 72, add 24 again is 96, add 4 is 100, add 20 is 120. There we go, so there's our lowest common multiple, 120. And that's those done. Let's have a look at some of these in a bit of context. Okay, so two lights flash at the same time. One flashes every 12 seconds, the other flashes every 16 seconds. After how long will they both flash again at the same time? So let's have a look. Really all this is saying is, okay, so 12 and 16, when's that time gonna be when they both flash again? So if we look at 12 and 16 and see when they both meet again at the same time. So 12, 24, 36, 48, 
60, it's on to 16, 32, add 6 is 48, add 10 is 50, sorry, for, add 6 is not that. Let's have a look, add 6 is 40, oh 38, sorry, add 10 is 48, and add 6 is 54, add 10 is 64. Okay, well, we've actually already got a match there, haven't we? We've got 48 on both. So the question said, after how long will they both flash again at the same time? This was in seconds, as it says in the question, 16 seconds and 12 seconds. So we're going to just make the statement after 48 seconds. And there's our final answer. Let's have a look at a slightly different one. Here we go. So pens come in packs of eight and pencils come in packs of 20. If we want to buy the same amount of pens and pencils, how many packs of each do we need to buy? So again, we've got pencils come in 20 and pens come in packs of eight. So if we find the lowest common multiple of these and see what we get. So for eight, for the pens, let's label this pens and pencils. And pencils comes in packs of 20. Okay. So 8, 16, 24, not 36, 32, sorry, 40, 48 and so on. But actually I've just spotted there that 40 is going to be our next one in the pencils. So we're going to have a look. 40 is our lowest common multiple. But the question said, I'm just going to highlight this, how many packs of each do we need to buy? So having a look at this, the pencils, that's on the second pack, isn't it? So two packs of pencils. And if we count along on the pens, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So five packs of pencils. There we go. Now, to be fair with this question, it said, how many packs of each do we need to buy if we want to get the same amount? Now you could have kept on going actually. If we keep going on the pens, we'll get to 80. If we keep going on the pencils, we'll get to 80. So we could buy double each. We could buy four packs of pencils and 10, uh, sorry, I've written pencils for both of them, haven't I? That should say pens. There we go, so five packs of pens. So what we could actually do is double both of them. We could buy four packs of pencils and 10 packs of pens. And that would still give us the same amount for both. Um, so we're just going to find the smallest one because it doesn't say, um, but we could have actually kept on going. It'd be a bit silly for us to keep going when we've already found one that gives us the same amount, but there we go. Right, here's two for you to have a go at. Okay, there's two questions. So pause the video and I'll go over the answers in a sec. Right, so two buses start their journey at the same time. Bus A takes 24 minutes to return back to the bus station and bus B takes 18 minutes to return to the bus station. After how long will they both meet again at the bus station? So let's have a look, 24 and 18. Let's see what we get. So 18, 36, add eight is 44, add 10 is 54, add eight is 62, add 10 is 72, and then add eight is 80, add 10 is 90. Let's see how far we get with 24. So 24, 48, no match yet. Add four is 52, add 20 is 72. Ah, there we go, we've got a match. Right, so 72 and 72. So looking back to the question, it did say 18 minutes and 24 minutes. So this is in minutes. So we would say after 72 minutes, there we go, which is an hour and 12 minutes. Okay, so we could say in either way, we could say an hour and 12 or 72 minutes. On to the next one. So candles come in packs of 15 and candle holders come in packs of six. And if we want to buy one candle for every candle holder, how many packs of each do we need to buy? So six and 15, see what we get. Six, 12, 18, 24, and 30. Right, now that's gonna work for this one below as well. So 30 is gonna be a match. So we found a match, that works. Again, we could keep going higher. In fact, they're gonna match again at 60, at 90, at 120, but this is gonna be our smallest match here. So on the bottom, let's label this up. That was the candles, that was the holders. So in terms of the actual candles, which come in packs of 15, that's one, two, three, four, five packs. So five packs of candles. And for the holders, that's two packs there and two packs of holders. Right, there we go, there's those two questions. I've got one more for you to have a look at. 
Okay, here it is. So it's about an alarm clock. It says alarm A, um, alarm A sounds every 20 seconds, B sounds every 45, and C sounds every 120. It says the alarms start going off at the same time. How many times in one hour will the three go alarms go off at the same time? So we've got three numbers here, so you'll have to do a list of three numbers. I'm going to go over the answers, but have a go. See what you get, see how far you get, and we'll go over the full answer in just a sec. Okay, so 20, 45, and 120. Let's have a look. So 20, 45, and 120. So if I start doing lists, I have got 20 and 120 there, so it's definitely going to end in a zero. So if I start with a 45, 90, 135, add another 45, gets us to 180. Now that ends in a zero, 20 goes into that, but 120 doesn't, so I'm going to keep on going. Now I can use a little bit of logic here, I know that it's going to go up every 90. I'll keep going though, so 225 and then 270. 120 doesn't go into that, so I'm going to need to keep going again. So let's add 45 again, we get 315 and then 360. Right, so 120 definitely goes into 360 because we get 240 and then 360 and 20 definitely does. I'm not going to write them all down, but if we kept on going, we would get down to 360. So we found a match there for our lowest common multiple, 360. So what does it actually say? It says they start going off at the same time. How many times in one hour will they, st will they go off at the same time? So that's in an hour. This is in seconds. So how many minutes is that? So 360 seconds, if we divide that by 60, that gives us every six minutes. So 360 seconds equals six minutes. Okay, so in terms of every, how, how, how many times will they go in one hour? Well, if, if they go off at the same time every six minutes, they'll go off at zero they'll go off again at 6, they'll go off again at 12, they'll go off again together at 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and then on the 60th minute on that final part of the hour. So let's have a look and see how many there are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So they'll go off 11 times together. How many times in one hour will the three alarms go off at the same time? On the start of the hour and on the end of the hour. And that'll be 11 times. So our final answer here would be 11 times. And that's the end of the question and the end of the video. That's lowest common multiple, just with numbers and with a little bit of context. Again, if you like the videos, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.